Hey everybody, it's Tim Miller with The Bulwark. Uh, once again, I'm issuing a Tom Cotton Stop Being Such a Frickin' Prick challenge. Uh, but given that this is my second a few Tom Cotton rant, I, I think that's pretty unlikely. Let's back up and let me explain what we're talking about here. There were protests all across the country yesterday uh, protesting uh, Israel's action in Gaza, including shutting down the Golden Gate Bridge, Lower Manhattan, New York, uh, O'Hare Airport in Chicago. Here was Senator uh, Tom Cotton of Arkansas's response to that. Uh, let's look at the tweet. These pro-Hamas extremists blocking roads across the country are Joe Biden's base. I feel for those with health emergencies, kids, and places to be who are stuck in traffic because of these criminals. So I, I want to play the actual video of what Tom Cotton said here on Fox in a minute because that is even more disgusting and despicable than this tweet. But, but I want to address the, the subject of the tweet first. Uh, the, the second point is, you hate to hand it to Tom Cotton, the second point is the only thing in this entire situation uh, that is even borderline relevant and even borderline defensible. Um, I feel for those with health, health emergencies and kids. Yeah, uh, you know, protesters, I respect your right to protest, okay? I don't know, I probably am not going to agree with the views of a lot of the people out there protesting Gaza, even though I do have con uh, concerns about the humanitarian crisis there. Um, but... There are places to do this, right? They're the right. Go protest outside the White House. Go, go protest outside a, I don't know, you know, freaking um, a military contractor. I, you know, whatever. I, like there are places to protest. Write an op-ed. Send a tweet. Shutting down a bridge in San Francisco. And most people on that bridge probably kind of agree with them. I, like San Francisco is not exactly the home of the pro BB Netanyahu faction of America. So what are you doing? You're shutting down a bridge, and, and yeah, there might be an emergency. You might be causing legitimate real harm to somebody, uh, like for no real end. Like who are you winning over with this? So it is a stupid protest, and 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 Cotton is right about that. But here is the rest of the the story where he is absolutely wrong and despicable. First is in this tweet. The pro-Hamas extremists are Joe Biden's base. They're calling him Genocide Joe. I feel like I'm going crazy. These people are not Joe Biden's base. They don't like Joe Biden. They're attacking Joe Biden. It was Donald Trump actually this weekend who was echoing these protesters' comments um, You know, when the rally goers at his rally were calling Biden Genocide Joe. Genocide Joe! They're not wrong. They're not wrong. The protesters here are protesting Joe Biden. They're not his base. People that like Joe Biden are Joe Biden's base. People that are excited to vote for Joe Biden are Joe Biden's base. You know, are there some people in Joe Biden's base that disagree with him on Israel? Probably. But the core people that show up to the Joe Biden rally are not the same people that are shutting down the Golden Gate Bridge. The, the people that are shutting down the Golden Gate Bridge hate the people that go to the Joe Biden rallies. They are on opposite sides of this. Uh, you know, this would be like Tom Cotton saying that Liz Cheney is part of Donald Trump's base. Uh, you know, it's like, no. Okay, these people are, are fighting within their ideological coalition. Um, if, if anything, they hate Joe Biden more than anyone. Uh, and so it's like, I'm, I'm just like, why does Joe Biden have to be responsible for people that hate him and are protesting him, yet Donald Trump isn't held responsible for the people shouting Genocide Joe at his rally, for the anti-Semitic racists that are his biggest supporters, like Nick Fuentes and Tucker Carlson. I, I, it doesn't make any sense. It's bullshit. It's, a bull, it's bullshit political doublespeak. Now we get to the gross part. Let's watch Tom Cotton on Fox. If something like this happened in Arkansas on a bridge there, let's just say I think there'd be a lot of very wet criminals that have been tossed overboard, not by law enforcement, but by the people whose uh, road they're blocking. If they glued their hands to a car or a, the pavement, well, probably pretty painful to have their skin ripped off. But I think that's what, the way we'd handle it in Arkansas. And I would encourage most people anywhere that get stuck behind criminals like this uh, who are trying to block traffic to take matters in their own hands. There's only usually a few of them, and there's a lot of people being inconvenienced. It's time to put an end to this nonsense. Fuck you. Like, really? Fuck you, Tom Cotton. Like, you want people to throw these protesters off the bridge? That's what he's calling for. That's death on the Golden Gate Bridge, by the way. That's death. So he might think he's being cute. But what if there's somebody out there, there's one crazed person, you know, the, in California or who's visiting California, who's driving across that bridge? who gets there, who's been watching Fox, and is like, yeah, yeah, I should do that. I should push one of these people off the bridge. I think about the consequences of that. Like, words have consequences, 
All right? You don't just get to say things and make threats and expect that nothing is going to happen and just expect to get some LOLs on X or whatever or get some engagement from your Fox News viewers. He's talking about like people's skin being ripped off. Like what? Like this is disgusting. Okay? Uh, people this is from the people who are like, "Oh, we're so I'm we're so worried about cancel culture on college campuses. We're conservatives are, are are people are mean to conservatives on co- on college campuses and they're getting canceled." Meanwhile, I want to take people who are expressing their free speech and throw them off a bridge into the water and kill them. Threaten to kill them. Butch myself up, limp-fisted Tom Cotton. Oh, I'm so tough. I'm so I'm a tough guy. MAGA's they're going to support me, you know, even though I'm an old school neocon. I'm going to win MAGA over by by being performatively tough and being like I'm going to go there and and kill these protesters. It's just it's so sad. It's so pathetic. It's this faux machismo, you know, kind of thing that somebody that's really overcompensating for their own insecurities and own own weakness would say. It's a high school. It's like a prep school bullshit. You know, it's stuff that most of us got over when we were 15. Uh, like, that's what Tom Cotton, a United States senator, is out there doing on national TV. It's dangerous. It's gross. You can disagree with these protesters on policy. You can disagree with their tactics. Um, but you can do it in a way that... Um, is it does not exacerbate the the partisanship, the anger, the rancor in the country. You can do it in a way that isn't a faux tough guy act that that might result in somebody actually taking you up on it. We've seen that, by the way. We've seen people in trucks try to run over protesters. This isn't a hypothetical. This isn't like something that has no chance of happening. We've, it's happened. We've seen it happening. So. Uh, maybe take the temperature down, Tom Cotton. Stop trying to pretend you're so tough, and uh, maybe actually, you know, try to engage constructively with your friends in the House who aren't passing Israel aid right now. You know, because uh, they're too incompetent to be able to do anything. Maybe focus your energies on actual legislating and actually doing. If you care that much about helping Israel and actually doing something to get this passed, rather than going on Fox and doing a fake tough guy act. Um, all right. We'll be back. We've got great stuff this week for you on The Bulwark, so make sure you're subscribed to our feed. And I'm sure I'm going to have to do the whole Tom Cotton rant over again because this is just the way this guy is. Uh, We'll see you next time. Hey, if you like this video and our content, I'd love for you to become a Bulwark Plus member. You get bonus podcasts. uh, You get bonus newsletters. You get bonus takes from me that maybe don't come up on the YouTube feed. Um, You can try it out for free at thebulwark.com slash free trial. The link is below in the description. Uh, We'd love to have you as a member of our community. Uh, We have great commenters and uh, great opportunities for people who want to protect democracy.